Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you another PlayStation 4 review and today's review is for Banner of the Maid. Now this is a game that I've been playing periodically over the last couple of weeks. Um, it is quite a new release on PlayStation 4 uh, but because of some other releases that have been out I've not been managed to put as much time into this um, when it was first released to do a review as quick as I would like to have done. However, I've put some time into it now um, and I'm able to give you a more insight into this game and what is this game about? Well, essentially, this is a um, tactical, strategic RPG, quite retro styled, and it's it kind of follows French history very loosely, I might add. Um, and it's quite reminiscent of games like Final Fantasy Tactics things like that and it's got this real retro anime um, style and look to the game um, however it's not it's a, not a game without some problems I'm, I must be honest for me first and foremost for an RPG like this the story needs to be good it needs to grasp you because there's an awful lot of text based um, information to digest in this game. There's no voice acting really. I mean the only acting you get voice wise and it's a bit odd is occasionally you'll hear grunts from your characters during battle or they will yell something in Japanese during a battle. Uh, so it's obviously um, a Japanese type game um and it like i say it, it's just it's, it's an odd blend because like i say it, it follows loosely french history um and it's it's got this real anime style to it and it's got these weird japanese shout outs now and again it feels a bit odd and it's a bit of a strange blend when you play this game i'm not gonna lie so there's no voice acting so all the text stuff in this game has to be read and the biggest problem with this game is the story I personally found to be as dull as dishwater. Um, I really didn't, I could not get into this story. It was just really, really dull. And maybe that is because there's no voice acting and you had to read everything. But I've read, i played RPGs in the past where there's very little voice acting and you have to read a lot of the text and stuff. And I've got into those stories far more than this. I just I really, really struggle with the story here in this game. And I really think it harms it in a sense of that there's no voice acting to speak of and it doesn't draw you into the story. Um, however, the saving grace here for this game is the battles that are actually quite fun um, and quite engrossing and quite tactical. Uh, the more you get into the game, the better the battles become. And it's this strange style of... Well, it's not strange, it actually works quite well. You move your characters around the the, uh, the, board, the battle area. Uh, very similar to other games in this genre. You choose who you're going to attack. You choose what ability you're going to use to attack that character. And then you get this lovely little cutscene. Where it's like um, a squad firing another squad. Or it could be a cavalry charging. Or cannons shooting. Um, and it gives a nice little animation. And I, I must admit... I personally, while playing this game, I, because I couldn't get into this story, I found myself skipping big chunks of the dialogue and stuff just to get to the battles because I found the battles really fun and entertaining. Um, but I found the story and the text-based stuff incredibly dull. So it's a double-edged sword, this game, unfortunately. Now, if I would say that if you're the type of um, player who really gets into all the lore and all that kind of stuff and you like to read every single detail and you like to understand each character and um, and you don't mind text based stuff I, I think there's a game here for you it's not expensive either to be honest I, I can't remember how much I paid for it I think it was less than £15 in the UK is what I paid for it I think just I'm trying to remember it might have been a little bit more uh, personally I didn't get into the story but if you're that type of player that likes, doesn't mind text based stuff um, you might actually uh, enjoy this game more than I have certainly enjoyed it. It's It's got a really nice visual style to the game. I really enjoy how it looks. Um, I think the, the in-between battle stuff is where this game really struggles, I think. Like I said, because, because of the dialogue and things like that. And it, it gives you like these mild choices to make, like, you know... 
what you're going to do with this character what choice are you going to make what approach are you going to make to this character and it, it and it, it will affect how that how they act or uh, their uh, response to you and things like that but it, it's nothing earth shattering uh, for me the stuff in between the battles was just filler to get to the battles is, is the big is the big issue that I had and found with this game you do get obviously your usual choices in a game like this in regards to uh, your squads and all that kind of stuff and and how you're going to equip them and you before each battle the more you get into the game you're able to prepare um, for the battle all that kind of stuff all the usual fare that you would expect um, for a strategic tactical game like this um, and th that I, I don't really have much more else to say on this game um, it's it's not a game for me I'll be honest it's not one I've been completely enjoying I've had some fun with the battles the rest of it I found a little bit um, wanting personally and I, I, thankfully you can skip you can skip the dialogues you can put it on auto if you like so you can do, it'll just continue on through all the dialogue, dialogue options um, um, and that's it really there's not much else to say on this game like I've said, if you if you like these sort of games, these tactical um, RPGs with a nice retro style, it could be a game here for you to enjoy. But be warned, I personally think the story drags this game down massively, um, and it is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to give this one a six out of ten. I think it's been a little bit of a letdown, personally for me anyway. Um, check it out though; it's certainly a game that's not expensive, and it is certainly a game that you will be able to pick up in a sale at some point in the near future. I am guessing if it is your sort of game. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found this review useful, uh, and of course, I will be back with more content on Screen Stars very, very soon.